May God be with you all. Today's story is about a child born of magic, possibly cursed. Born into a family of neglect and torment. Punished by the bull, is there a light at the end of this young girl's tunnel? Or is she forever doomed to live in shadow? This is Matilda. You've probably read the title and you're going, why is he watching that? Well, if you've been following the channel since the start of this year, there is a very special reason. Have you clued on yet? There may be a weird edit here because I'm actually expecting someone to drop off a door. Tur. Yeah, those, those jokes are apparently going to get worse. Everyone, I would like you to meet my gorgeous little girl through this pre-recorded video, Matilda Ray. Last name disclosed. Her last name isn't disclosed. You know what I mean. I cannot wait to be your dad. If this video is public, I already am. For the people that don't click on this video, they've missed out on some pretty big news. I've wanted to watch Matilda for the longest time, and now I get to do it for the rest of my life, so... <laughs> oh my god. No, no, we're not getting sappy this early. Now I'm going to play it off with a joke, and that's uh, Matilda released in 1996, the same year I was born, and now it's getting a re-release in 2022. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how you going? Leave me a comment with anything that's on your brain, actually. Just the first thought you have, just type it in the comments. Leave a like on the video as well. And uh, check me out on Patreon if you want to see videos a whole day early or make a movie request. I have a family to feed now. <laughs> also, this one goes directly to my daughter, Matilda. I'm sure at some point that someone is going to show you this video. I've got to stop watching from here on, okay? Because daddy's going to be saying some naughty words. If I love you just as much as I love my cat, you're going to be a very spoiled girl. Chances are I might even buy you your own bed. Ah, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Milo uses that as a bed. It's a camping chair. You might get your own camping chair. None of this would have been possible without, obviously, my gorgeous wife as well. So, uh, good job. Because I couldn't have done that for nine months. They're all green screened. Oh, obviously, they're not going to just line up a bunch of babies for one shot. <laughs> Luckily, that baby seat is secure, otherwise that baby is going Phew! Now look what you did! They named her... Oh, that better not be Poo. That's an intelligent baby if it's able to write its name out in its feces, oh my god! Do you guys not own a bathtub? Soup's on the stove, heat it up if you get hungry! Is that Mrs. Potato Head? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's brave. Matilda's a girl boss this early, good on ya. Oh, those pancakes look so nice! By the time she was four, Matilda had read every magazine in the house. She's a bit too smart, I think. A book? What do you want a book for? She ran out of magazines to read. There's nothing you can get from a book that you can't get from a television faster. Buy her the book, okay? Buy her multiple books. Matilda set off in search of a book. <laughs> She's a little smart ass. I love it. I'm a bit too smart to get kidnapped. I'll outsmart the kidnapper. Is that the queen? Is, that's Queen Elizabeth. Either that or all librarians look like the queen. <laughs> Did you know she's going to actually work for you one day? A librarian looked at her like, hmm. A new employee. Matilda walked the 10 blocks to the library. She really is not afraid of any kidnappers or anything. Wow. When she finished all the children's books, she started wandering around in search of something else. Podcasts? Mrs. Phelps offered Matilda some valuable library information. No! <laughs> I thought he was going to say offered her a job. The voices of all those authors. Oh my god. Who sent their books out into the world. She's reading this many books. That's actually my wife's daughter. If she's reading that many books, that's my wife right there. Um, uh, um, hang on. <laughs> hang on. That's, that's definitely my wife's daughter. I love that she's got like a little trolley for her books as well. <laughs> it's so cute. It was six in August. You're a liar. I want to go to school. Yeah, that's great parenting 101 is just forgetting your six-year-old's birthday. It's only been six years. I think there's something wrong with that girl. Yeah, there is. She's too smart for this family. Have a marshmallow. Have another marshmallow. 
Marsh Mel Gift Face. Oh, turn around and punch him in the face, Matilda. You have my permission. Oh no, don't cry on the book. You're gonna damage it. It occurred to her that like talking dragons and princesses with hair long enough to climb. Which is unrealistic because imagine the split ends on Rapunzel's hair. You'd climb a quarter of the way up and then you'd fucking detach yourself and die. Did we? <laughs> They did not kiss then. What was that? Was there a kiss? There was not a kiss then. Did we? <laughs> they didn't kiss at all. They were like this far away. Okay, I need to see who this Matilda mum is. P... <laughs> Rhea Perlman. Bar you're in Barbie. Oh, well, I'll be seeing that movie. I'll recognize you in that. Oh, is that Matilda now? 35. Oh my God. Mara Wilson. Your name's familiar. What have you been in? Ah, uh, yes, Thomas and the Magic Road. Ah, oh, Mrs. Doubtfire, I need to watch that as well. That is on my list. You're in Bojack Horseman, which I watched like four episodes of that and wanted to take myself off the planet. If you're being smart with me, young lady, you're going to be punished. Punished for being smart? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be our daughter. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you putting in that? What did you put in that? Uh, oh, I mask. Get up and tiptoe out of there. Come into my room. Oh no, what's in that? What is it? What are you putting in your hair? Take you to the shop. What do you say? I don't know. What do you say, Dad? <laughs> you got a job, boy. Well-oiled hair, clean shave, snappy suit. I think it was peroxide she poured into that. There's a sucker born every minute. Jesus We're gonna take Christ. him for all got. I also feel like if that wasn't changed with whatever Matilda put in there, that's too much oil to be putting in your hair. What's wrong with you? What are you looking at? Lovekins, oh. where's my breakfast? <laughs> well, he looks like you now. <laughs> what a little shit. They deserved it, though. It doesn't look that bad, though. I mean, obviously, he's chucked a hat on, but, like, the blonde on him didn't look bad anyway. Buying stolen car parts never stay secret for long. Ah. Okay, so the dad's a bit of a fraud. 917. Is that Pee Wee Herman? I've never seen the movies. I just know of... He don't like this. Mm. <laughs> I sell her. <laughs> Takes time. Equipment. Money. Super glue. <gasps> so, we use super, super glue instead. No, 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 no. How stupid are the people you're selling these to? Oh my God. To be fair, Kara did uh, sticky tape the undercarriage back to her car because she didn't want to go to a mechanics. Nobody ever got rich being honest. Two directional drill. You run it backwards, the numbers go down. Really? Oh my god, I did not know that. Is that a real thing? This is illegal. Do you make money? Do you have a job? She's six, man. What jobs are available for a six-year-old? Oh god, don't put the super glue in the hat. <laughs> oh, don't! I won! I hit the double finger! Would you win? $45? Oh my god, so exciting! God, your hair looks awful. I hope they let you in. Have you looked at your hair in the mirror? You look like you touched a power socket before you left the house. Harry, take your hat off. Harry. You can't. Harry's not going to be very hairy in a minute. <laughs> Harry, nobody cares what your hair looks like. Oh, is he going to pull the hair straight off? <laughs> Why is he barking? <laughs> well, it's Toby Maguire. Wow. <laughs> so is she just like extremely lucky or like does she have magic or something? One more. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, it's time to get the razor out, buddy, and just shave it off. We are eating dinner and watching TV. I hope your TV breaks. I hope it stops working. So then you can sell it for a profit. Are you in this family? <laughs> Dude, she just wants to read a book. Are you in this family? Also, while you're at it, if you're going to shave your hair, just shave your mustache too. That is pathetic mustache. Ah! 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 
Did she do that? This is a superhero origin story. Matilda's a bloody superhero if she did that in her head. It is said that we humans use only a tiny portion of our brain. <laughs> Your family does. Brat yourself. Yeah, I got a boy, Mikey, and one mistake, Matilda. They're all mistakes, oh, children. Come on, dude. She's the smartest one in the family. She's not a mistake. Let's do business. Ugh. If your presence simply just stops children from being happy, then maybe you should find another job. Imagine having that sort of presence and you're a child party entertainer. Hey kids! Uh... No, we're meant to be happy! It's much better than being out there. How many children go missing a year at this school because they simply run off because they're scared? She doesn't really hit children with that Ryland Cropper, does she? What she does is worse. Like yesterday, the second grade. The Trunchbull makes a weekly visit to every classroom to show the teachers a thing or two about handling kids. Jesus Christ! Ah! Ah! Was Julius okay? Oh. He's being thrown out the window? Shot put, javelin, hammer throw. So Mrs. Trunchbull used to be in the Olympics. Let's discuss. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, I'm so sorry. Bowl of she puts kids in there? I've been in twice. Sometimes she leaves you in there all day. Is this school publicly available? Or do you have to go on like the dark web to like enroll your child into this place? Here she comes. Ah. <laughs> Hammer throw. What? Hammer throw? What? Oh my god! Hey, Mr. Trotchbill coming in with the world record and personal best of 85 meters. But Matilda's teacher, Miss Honey, was one of those remarkable people who appreciates every single child for who she or he is. Can I be a student in Miss Honey's class, please? I'll take that seat over there. Can I, can I be in this class, please? That's the most attractive teacher I've ever seen. But if you do know an answer, just raise your hand. All right. We've been working on our two times tables. Can I have your number? Two times four is? Eight. Two times six is? Twelve. Two times nine is? Eighteen. Pff, I'm smoking these kids. Pretty soon you'll be able to do any multiplication. What about one plus one? Me plus you. 13 times 379. <laughs> uh, she knows what. Oh my god! Matilda, you know how to multiply big numbers? Oh yeah, I have a crush on Miss Honey. God damn! Charles Dickens. I could read him every day. So could I. I'm starting to realise this is actually kind of a depressing start to the movie because Matilda's only just realising at six years old what friends really are. That's kind of actually really sad. She's coming to my house. Good to see you, Jen. Good, good, good. Time for one of our little heart to hearts. She can multiply large sums in her head. So can a calculator. A calculator's not a sentient being. I'll lock her in the chokey! Um, she's unstable. Putrescent little children! Head mistress. More like you should head out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Hello. We don't give money. You're not going to give money to Miss Honey? Speaking of honey. Don't worry, there's no sponsor. Though that would be very cool if I was sponsored by Honey. Beat it, we're watching TV. If you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Yes! Oh my god, I love her! Come on, and get this over with. Mrs. Wormwood's not gonna like this. Come on. Who listens to their wife anyway? <laughs> Matilda has a brilliant mind. Mikey, give me a beer. Her math skills are simply extraordinary. She's- You see what me son did then? He got me a beer. That's intelligence. I mean, take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. So you were sued for selling a faulty car. What car? Sued by who? Hmm. We're not going to agree, are we? I'll agree on anything.
Just tell me. Bruce Bogtrotter. What a name. Bruce Bogtrotter. That kid will get bullied in high school. Would little Brucey come up here, please? <laughs> She's so intimidating. I've never felt this intimidated in a kids movie like ever. You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? I'm... I'm a child. My personal snack! Do you deny it? Are there any other teachers or is it just Mrs. Trunchbull and Miss Honey? I haven't seen any other teachers. Well, it's hard for me to remember a specific cake. Did he eat the cake or not? <laughs> oh, that looks disgusting. Imagine if she just stabbed the child in front of everyone else. Eat it. I don't want any. Thank you. That is a big slice too. That would make me feel very unwell. Ugh. Imagine the tummy ache. Oh my god, I'm getting one right now just thinking about it. You must have some more? No! No! Not without a cup of water! Cookie! She made this cake just for you to have on your very own. Oh my god. Her sweat and blood went into this cake. <laughs> oh, I'd be vomiting on it. Oh, but then she'd make me eat it still, wouldn't she? See you at lunch. Thank you, Cookie. Rotten kids. She's scratching her ass. <laughs> I wouldn't be getting lunch at this school. I would starve. Honestly, he's kind of a champion for just downing this whole cake without water. Have you ever had a cake and then not had a drink available? You feel like you're going to die. Mm. He's going to die. Ugh. Bruce looks real bad. No fucking shit. He just ate an entire chocolate cake. You can do it, Bruce! Oh, no, Matilda! Yeah, you can do it! Oh, shit! Go, Bruce! Eat that chocolate cake and then go for a 10 kilometer run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mob mentality. Oh my god, now he's got the energy like he's in a food eating competition. He finished it! Dude! Oh, your stomach is not gonna like that. Stop, li stop licking the plate, man. His stomach. Oh. <laughs> The entire assembly will stay five hours after school and copy from the dictionary. Five hours? <laughs> She's like getting home at like 10 p.m. <laughs> They're watching TV too whilst on the job. So it's like showing how destructive TV can be to the mind. That's genius. You are such an ignoramus. Igno what? Ignoramus. That's a new one. It was a rare and happy moment when Matilda could just play with her friends. So she didn't know what friends were. She just knew what books were. Oh my God, that's actually really sad. It's a salamander. It's a chameleon. It's a newt. Let's put it back in the wild because Mrs. Trunchbull's gonna find that and kill it. Oh God, she's here. Flaming car! Um, what? Didn't she buy the car from the dad? <laughs> she's complaining it's not working properly. <laughs> That's great writing. The apple never rots far from the tree. Oh, because of the dad selling her a faulty car, now Matilda's copping it? Did she have the jug? I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. I swear, thank you, Mrs. Trunchbull. <laughs> Things are dropping me on my head. Get up! Can you spell? S-P-E-L-L. -L. Small children take so long to grow up. I think they do it deliberately. Oh, no! No, 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 no! You couldn't feel the slipperiness in that cup? <laughs> oh, shit. It's safe. I thought she would have swallowed the salamander then. It would have been called a swallowmander. I like a joke as well as the next fat person. <laughs> She's actually really good in this. It's a snake! <laughs> oh, it's a snake! <laughs> uh oh. She's gonna lose it now. I didn't do it. You didn't like the choke, eh, did you? She didn't do it. The girl in front of her did. Blame her. <laughs> so even if you didn't do it, I'm gonna punish you? Because I'm big and you're small. She's a real villain. Holy shit. Is Mrs. Trunchbull married? Because if she is her poor fucking husband, oh my god. She can only dance. 
<laughs> She's made a good friend. I love it. Miss Honey. Yes, Matilda. Are you going to lose your job now? <laughs> Her face in the cup. I'm, I'm a five-year-old. Her face makes me laugh through the cup. I really did do it, Miss Honey. So it didn't work then. So maybe... It's when she's tense or, like, really anxious is when her abilities work. Matilda, would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? Yes. Uh, oh, sorry, my name's not Matilda. Are there any other teachers here? It's just Miss Honey and Miss Trunchbull, I think. But look how big that building is. There has to be other classrooms and other teachers. Unless they've been fired or worse. That's where Miss Trunchbull lives. Looks like the Conjuring House. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense because I would not be surprised if that bitch was possessed by a demon. Should we go inside and have tea and cookies? Tea and cookies? Yes, please. They have to be Oreos or chocolate chip. Otherwise, I'll, I'll still come inside. I just won't have cookies. I thought grown-ups weren't afraid of anything. Taxes. All grown-ups get scared, just like children. Children also don't realise that adults are living for the first time as well. As depressing as that sounds, we haven't been here before. Oh no. Is she afraid of cats? She's afraid of cats! She's afraid of cats! <laughs> oh no, the cat! Oh, Jesus. It is true, like you see a bodybuilder and they're afraid of like a moth and you're like, oh, that's surprising. Car that the dad gave Mrs. Trunchbull just doesn't work. Whoever painted the Trunchbull must have had a strong stomach. <laughs> Was it Bruce Bogtrotter? He has a pretty strong stomach. Oh, she's like She Hulk. She can just. <laughs> Hotel! Oh no, she's back at the house. Get out! Otherwise, you're gonna get fucking shot putted back to the school. Yeah. I know what caveat emptor means, you low-life liar! I would have bloody squealed then if someone went, Wormwood! And I went, oh, fuck, she knows I'm here! <laughs> Is she aware someone's in her house? Someone's touched my bloody chocolates. I hope it wasn't a children. <laughs> She's great. The actress for Mrs. Trunchbull is Killing it. If there's more movies with Mrs. Trunchbull's actress where she plays the same kind of role, I want to watch those. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban aren't Marge. The irony that in this movie, Matilda, she deals with a child with magic. And then in Harry Potter, she gets inflated and floats away from another kid with magic. I need you to sign this form. What is it? Nothing. Harry Potter rewatch on my channel? When? You're still here, are you? Yes. Don't say yes in that ungrateful way. It is Mrs. Trunchbull. Holy shit. Usually just a fry up for me, what, with 12 dogs? <laughs> More? That's a boy. She plays like a villain slash bitch so well. Little drop of twinkly brandy wouldn't be wonderful, Ricky Pippi Poo. That's gonna kill that dog, do you know that? What are you smirking at? He's smirking because he realises you've just put down the family pet. What is it the boy's father did for Junior? Nothing. It didn't work. He was, he was unemployed. <laughs> and a drunk too, no doubt. That's a lie. What did you say? Careful, she'll put you in the choker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just dealing with Matilda again. If there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! This is every child that runs into this woman, ever. <laughs> Don't want to even think about how that fingernail is staying on there. <laughs> Why is no one helping her out? She's inflating. <laughs> I love that she just fucking flies away. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, grab the lasso, <laughs> grab the lasso and bring her back. <laughs> 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 
She's a stay-at-home mum. Home is wherever the hell she wants it to be. She owns a hot air balloon business now. God, I need to rewatch Harry Potter, man. Holy shit. At least if she inflated in her house here, she'd actually have a lot of room to bounce around in. Uh-oh. She's as intimidating as Michael Myers is. <laughs> Why would you throw it out a window or something? What a weird way to throw it. She's so scary, dude. Teddy oh, Jesus Christ. I, I almost want to give this movie five stars just because of Mrs. Trunchbull and Miss Honey. Oh, look at the ring of sweat around her neck. That's when you know you've had a workout, is you have sweat under your fucking neck flap. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. What would Mrs. Trunchbull do if she found Matilda in her house? I actually don't want to know. A Netflix documentary, probably. Uh-oh, <laughs> she's got a weapon now. <laughs> she just took out the microwave. Some rats are gonna die today. <sighs> Is she gonna see them? Oh my God! That's a woman right there. <laughs> she's just having her leather face moment. That woman has too much testosterone. How does she not have a giant ball sack? She's just walking around constantly like... Promise me you will never go back in that house again. I promise. I promise to go back in the house. Matilda! This is boring! And Bill. These cops have the easiest job of this entire movie. One, they've sat in their car the entire time. Two, they've watched TV. Three, they're now eating on the couch. What do I have to do to gain respect around here? I'm gonna give you a- Door straight in the face. My word is my law! Your law! Yeah, so it has to do with when she's super anxious or tense and that's her way of releasing that tension. Is she trying to put the cereal into her bowl? Okay, that's a little bit lazy. Just pick the cereal up and tip it in. Yeah, that's what happens. You should just put the cereal in properly. <laughs> that is so lazy. Oh, no, don't get excited about the dancing doll. <laughs> She's having a little moment. I love it. Am I watching Matilda or Poltergeist 2? Which I still have to watch. Oh my god, this isn't a superhero story. This is an origin story of Mary Poppins. <laughs> I would be the laziest person with these powers. Lights off dinner like feed myself oh god that would actually be quite dangerous it's your father who's going to federal prison and you know where you'll end up in a federal orphanage no have her go and live with miss honey or something your car is about to run a stop sign oh shit i thought that was like a gun it's a videotape honestly thought he pulled a gun out of his pocket you're not messing with me kid have a carrot Oh, she is Harry Potter. Having power isn't nearly as important as what you choose to do with it. Okay, Uncle Ben. Was nothing short of heroic. Blow up her house. That's what I do. From a distance, look at it and... Boom. Oh, is she gonna like try and make it seem like her house is haunted? <laughs> She's gonna think her house is haunted. Oh no, she's just trying to get the doll. Does she not care for like property resale value? 
<laughs> no way. Maybe she is doing the haunted house thing. Into the fireplace. Oh, yeah. See, I would be freaking out now. Have a floating cat come in and she'll fucking lose it. Oh! Ew, 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 ew. Yep, that would have me out the door. Onto the yeah, I'm out. How scary would that be? That would be terrifying. I will be teaching your class today. Oh, no. Calm down, Miss Honey, really. It's going to be okay. Are you aware whose payroll Miss Honey is on? She has every right to worry, okay? This is her job. She gets paid for this. You don't get paid yet, Matilda. Um, has she not clicked that she just lifted that jug? <gasps> Have you ever heard of the Avengers? I'm pretty sure, like, for the next phase, they're doing Young Avengers. Matilda, you would be right up there, Ali. She's a little scarlet witch! Don't make me wait! Water! <laughs> Water! I'm loving this. Holy shit. This might be one of my favorite movies I've watched. These things are a test of character. She, she's just so over the top mental that you're just so intrigued watching her. A child came to my house. It was illegal to enter someone's home without their permission. Why do you think America has the Second Amendment? Who was wearing a pretty red hair ribbon yesterday? <laughs> I, don't, I broke your arm once before. I can do it again, Jenny. Wait, what? I'm not seven years old anymore, Aunt Trunchbull. You broke her arm? You psycho! <laughs> Wait, from WandaVision? Oh, oh, Agatha Trunchbull. I'm a fucking moron. That's Trunchbull's name. If you don't, I will get you. Okay, these kids are a little bit too chill for something very supernatural happening. <laughs> I think it's scarier that all the kids are like laughing and happy about this. she dead? Did we kill her? Heart attack, maybe? Right, now when she opens up, put a cat in front of her face and that will do the job. She'll be gone. Ah! Oh, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna shot put him? Ah! <laughs> she has a problem with throwing children out windows. Spin it around. <laughs> I'd be vomiting on the floor. Yep, we got blur on the floor. <laughs> the little bit of puffy smoke that came out of nostrils. Bruce, go get that chocolate cake, buddy. You deserve it. I didn't know I could do that. Pretty good, huh? Uh, no, Matilda, you need to tell her that you did that for her because she's gonna go home and try to prove to her parents she can float off the roof. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> imagine how much fun. <laughs> you had the chocolate cake! I was gonna say, imagine how much fun these kids are having just throwing food at someone. Alright, now, she's gotten in her car. Have a cat in the back seat. How is there only one other staff member at this school? Look how big that is. I can't get over that. That reminds me of Scream in like the Woodsboro Hospital where they have three nurses. Trunchbull was gone, never to darken a doorway again. Until she rocked up at Harry Potter's house. Adopt her, Miss Honey, adopt her the way Mrs. Little adopted Stuart. We're leaving, come on, let's go. Get in the car, hurry up. Let's wrap up these cookies. She just saved the world, okay? Let her have a break. Well, nobody will be there. We're moving to Guam. Come on. No! Yeah. Daddy's not going to be in the auto oh, business. Freaking ambulances. Wait, is that in the movie? I don't want to leave. 
Oh my god, it's in the movie. I thought there was an ambulance or a police going past my house. Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. I wanted to stay with Miss Honey. Well done. You forgot your child's name. Adopt me, Miss Honey. Yes! Do it! I don't have time for all these legalities. One second, Dad. I have the adoption papers. What? <laughs> Why were you just carrying the adoption papers around? You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. You suddenly care? Who's got a pen? Yeah. And doing perhaps the first decent thing they ever did for their daughter. They got rid of her. Decent? Okay. Miss oh, Honey was made principal of Crunchum oh, Hall, which had to add an upper school because children never wanted to leave. She's the only employee there. Did she? Did Miss Honey at least hire more teachers? And Matilda found, to her great surprise, that life would be fun. And she decided to have as much of it as possible. After all, Aww. she was a very smart kid. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Look how much fun she's having now. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, Jesus, I'm close. And Matilda never had to use her powers again. I mean, almost never. Yeah, as if you wouldn't use your powers. You got them for free. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse, and nothing particular to Aww. Wait, this was directed by Danny DeVito? Oh man, Jesus Christ. That was such a happy feel good ending. Holy shit. Oh man, you got me, you got me eye watered. Nah, good. You got my eyes watering. <sighs> that was so cute. Is there a post credit scene? Like teasing the next team up movie or anything? Nah, alright. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I forgot that I googled that. I saw that face. I was like, oh, Jesus. Alright, so that was Matilda, released in 1996. Otherwise known as Miss Honey, I'm available Thursday night for dinner. Are you interested? <laughs> That was so good. I'm so happy I watched that. That was five out of five stars. Yeah, I just jumped to my rating. I'm sorry. I Yeah, that's five out of five. I would have felt really bad if like, you know, we'd named our daughter Matilda and then I watched this movie and I hated it. <laughs> That would have sucked. I don't want to get too sappy and emotional right now, so that's where I'm going to leave the video for today. Please leave a big like or a little like, depending on your thumb size. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon if you want to see videos a whole day early or make a movie request yourself. And, uh, I'm going to go spend time with my family. Aww. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. If that's how emotional I'm getting in a pre-recorded video, imagine how it's, imagine how I'm going to be when I'm actually holding her. I can't wait. <laughs>